exciting story to tell you today. I call it Poppy Cat and the Shooting Star. One summer night, Poppy and her friends were in the garden, looking up at all the twinkly stars in the sky. It was a very warm night, so Alma was keeping herself cool with a little fan that Mo had lent her. Thank you for letting me use your fan, Mo. Would you like to share it with me? That's okay, Alma. You can keep it. How sweet, Mo. I've never seen so many stars. There must be zillions of them. And there's a zillion more like them on the other side of space. How do they stay so still? They're not always still. Sometimes they zoom across the sky. That's called a shooting star. And remember, if you see one, you need to close your eyes and make a wish right away. Really? I just make a wish and it comes true? That's what they say. Then we all need to look really, really hard for a shooting star. <coughs> oh, hey there, Egbert. What are you looking at up there? We're trying to see a shooting star so we can make a wish. Do you want to look with us? Poppy cat, I'm no time for stars and wishes. I'm far too busy collecting these top secret invisible rocks. Now, if you'll excuse me, goodbye. Okay, bye. Oh no, I think I broke your fan, Mo. No, you didn't, Alba. It just needs new batteries. I'll fix it for you. Help me open the back. I think it's stuck. Of course, Mo. Oh, a shooting star. Make a wish. Make a I wish. wish. I wish. Got it. Oh, no. I missed the shooting star. Oh, oh Poppy, that's terrible. I'm sorry to say this, but probably not, Zuzu. Shooting stars don't happen very often. Oh, that's all right. At least Moe's fan is working again. It's my fault you missed the shooting star. You can have my wish, Poppy. Oh, that's very nice of you, Mo. But you keep your wish. I have an idea. Let's go to the other side of space and see if we can find a shooting star for Poppy. Oh, that's a great idea. Really? A space adventure would be fun. I can't believe it. A space adventure is exactly what I wished for. See? Shooting stars really do work. That's why we have to go and find one for Puppy. Okie doke, we're off. But first, we're going to need our rocket ship. for Captain Poppy so she can spend all her time looking for a shooting star. Do you know what you're going to wish for, Poppy? Uh, not really. I think I'll just wish for the first thing that pops into my head. This is Captain Zuzu again. I'm going to zigzag around these stars so that we can see better. So hang on. <laughs> Okay, I'm used to it. I'm beginning to think there aren't any shooting stars near here. That's why we need to go further into space. This is a job for the super booster button. Once I press this button, this rocket will fly through space faster than we've ever gone before. Oh dear. Everybody get ready. Your super booster button is broken. Uh, oh, it's not that. We're caught in something. 
thing and it can't get us out. Give it more power, Zuzu. I'm trying. <sighs> Depends on how you look at it, really. Hello there, Egbert. I know not of this Egbert you speak of. I am Captain Clean, officer in charge of data mess in outer space. You look like Egbert. Only the ballet leotard. I am not Egbert, and this is not a leotard. I mean, it's a superhero costume. I am Captain Clean, and I'm here to stop you from polluting space with this dirty rocket. But our rocket's not dirty. Poppy's ship is very tidy. Oh, really? <coughs> what do you call that, then? Well, that's mud, but you threw it there. I don't care how it got there. Dirt is dirt. This rocket can't go anywhere until it's been through the Captain Clean space car war. But we can't. We might miss a shooting star for Poppy. Silence. Dirty ships are not allowed in space. You must now surrender to my soul. <laughs> oh, 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 hey, that's not supposed to happen. Oh, how much longer must we put up with Bubble Boy out there? Oh, I'm sure we'll be on our way soon. You may now continue as your rocket is clean. Please leave the Captain Clean space car war. Thank you, Captain Clean. Zuzu, start the engines. It won't start, Poppy. Oh, nice work, Egbert. Your silly soap has drowned our engine. Well, uh, lucky for you, there's a cleaning emergency on planet of egg, uh, eggnog. Oh, I've got to go. Goodbye. I think we need to dry out the engine. But how? I've got an idea. I've got my bag with me. I'll go out on a spacewalk and use it to dry the engine. But Mo, you don't like doing spacewalks. I know. But it's my fault you missed the first shooting star, and I don't want you to miss another. Thank you, Mo. <laughs> Star Puppy Cat, that you and I stay 